When we think of a Ferris wheel, the first image that comes to mind is that of a giant upright wheel with multiple spokes and several little cabins attached to its rim. We've all enjoyed riding one at some point in our lives, right? But what if we told you? There's this ultra-futuristic Ferris wheel being built in Seoul that's nothing like the ones you've seen anywhere in the world. Intrigued? Well, watch this video till the end to see what we're talking about. And now that we're discussing Ferris wheels, did you know that this massive round structure is named after George W.G. Ferris? Or that Mr. Ferris invented it exclusively for the World's Columbian Expo in Chicago in 1893? Since then, Ferris's wheel has become a popular ride in amusement parks and, more recently, a must-have landmark in big cities across the globe. South Korea's capital city Seoul is also set to have its own Ferris wheel, but its innovative design takes this amusement park staple ride to a whole new level. Seoul's Ferris wheel, tentatively referred to as the Seoul Twin Eye, is a part of the city's many initiatives taken in the Sangam Dong area. It is a former landfill site on the northern bank of the Han River that is now being utilized for several environmental friendly projects like the Seoul Twin Eye. This wheel was slated to be built in Hanwell Park, one of the five parks in the World Cup Park. However, after reviewing the costs, investors' accessibility and business prospects, it was proposed to change the host site to Peace Park, another park in the expansive World Cup Park. As for why the city authorities chose this particular location for the wheel, well, this entire area has been recently redeveloped as a beautiful ecological park, and it is also the site of the city's famous World Cup Stadium. Another reason behind the strategic location of the wheel is its proximity to South Korea's northern border that it shares with North Korea. The city authorities say it showcases their aspiration and wish for a united Korea. Are you listening, North Korea? Seoul plans to start the construction of the wheel in 2025, after getting a go-ahead from the Ministry of Strategy and Finance. It is expected to be open to the public by 2027 or 2028. This project is an important part of Seoul Mayor Oh Si-hoon's ambitious vision, Han River with a thousand sunsets. The mayor plans to create a thousand spots along the Han River that runs through the city as public spaces for the residents of Seoul. The country hopes to attract tourists from all over the globe to Seoul in the long term with the construction of innovative projects like Seoul Twin Eye. That's the reason Mayor Oh Si-hoon announced the plan for the wheel at a meeting attended by South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin and foreign envoys from 99 countries. As they say, smart marketing is what doesn't feel like marketing at all. Now let us discuss what exactly it is that sets this Ferris wheel apart from the rest. In case you didn't know this, the world's largest Ferris wheel, Ain Dubai Ferris, stands tall at 210 meters in the United Arab Emirates. Although it's not operational anymore, Ain Dubai Ferris has more steel than the Eiffel Tower and is nearly twice as tall as the London Eye. But the Seoul Twin Eye aims to beat this wheel's record by offering a bird's eye view of the city from a staggering height of 220 meters. Also, it is said that Seoul's engineering marvel will run using solar energy and other environment-friendly technologies. Oh, and the awesomeness doesn't stop here. Did we mention that this futuristic-looking Ferris wheel will have no spokes? Yep, not even a single spoke on the massive structure that has an imposing diameter of 180 meters. Now, some of you might already know that most Ferris wheels have cables, or more specifically, spokes, running through the middle that helps them rotate. But in recent years, technology has evolved to allow them to rotate without the spokes. And the spokeless Seoul Twin Eye is a perfect example of that. Also, its diameter of 180 meters is another world record in itself. At present, the world's largest spokeless Ferris wheel is in Shandong, China, called Bohai Eye which measures 125 meters in diameter. Instead of spokes, Seoul's Ferris wheel will feature two giant rings intersecting in an X shape. From the images shared by the city authorities, the gigantic structure looks like the letter X from the side and letter O from the front. It is said that the cross wheel structure of the Ferris wheel will provide security and stability against earthquakes and high winds, and will also increase the overall seating capacity 
It is also the world's first double-wheeled Ferris wheel. The groundbreaking design incorporates pods or glass capsules on both the rings that revolve smoothly around inside and outside tracks. The plan is to accommodate 64 glass capsules, and each capsule will have the capacity to carry 20 to 25 people at a time. This means that more than 1,400 people will be able to ride the Soul Twin Eye at the same time once it is up and running. Just to put things into perspective, the London Eye can hold around 800 people simultaneously. That's almost half the capacity of the architectural wonder that will be the Soul Twin Eye. And China's Bohai Eye, the world's largest spokeless Ferris wheel at the moment, has 36 cabins, each of which can accommodate a maximum of 10 passengers. That's just 360 people in all. Once complete, Seoul's Twin Eye will give riders an opportunity to soak in panoramic views of Han River and the city from the top. This ambitious project also aims to use augmented reality to broadcast tourist information on the walls of each of the glass capsules, to offer the visitors a more immersive experience. Further, the wheel will be constructed around 40 meters above the ground, so several cultural facilities will be built underneath it. The space at the bottom supporting the entire structure is expected to house a 1.4 million square feet performance hall, an exhibition center, many retail stores as well as several restaurants and cafes, and other cultural places. This means tourists can spend hours here having tons of fun, shopping, eating, and exploring the area in general. To top it all, there are also plans to create a zip line that will give the visitors an opportunity to descend on a rope offering a thrilling experience to the more adventurous souls. If you're not one of them, don't worry. It is also proposed to start a monorail that will connect Seoul Twin Eye to the nearby subway station. Considering the uniqueness and complexity of this project, the city authorities have roped in world-famous British design company, ARUP, to partner with Seoul Housing and Communities Corp. Together, they will plan and review this Ferris wheel's earthquake and wind resistance. It is worth noting here that ARUP also designed the London Eye. Other design firms involved in the project include Dutch firm, UN Studio, and He Rim Architecture. While renowned construction engineering company SK Ecoplant has been entrusted with building the ride, the inspiration behind this awe-inspiring Ferris wheel is the Honshion Sigye, a 17th century South Korean astronomical clock that shows the movement of celestial objects through time. While designing the wheel, the design team at UN Studio focused primarily on the concept of unity. Ben Van Berkel, the founder and principal architect at UN Studio, said that the spokeless design of the Soul Twin Eye references Korea's boundless ambition for innovation and spirit of progress, seamlessly blending cutting-edge technology with a timeless appreciation for stability and beauty. The Seoul Twin Eye project is expected to cost 910.2 billion won. That's around 700 million USD. It surpasses the city's earlier estimate of 400 billion won by more than 100%. It is reported that private sector investments will fund the project, and it will most likely attract more than 3.5 million tourists on an annual basis. Now the Soul Twin Eye might not be your traditional Ferris wheel, but we are positive it will be a lot more exhilarating to ride as compared to the regular ones. Its spokeless futuristic design make it a hybrid between the amusement park roller coasters and the good old Ferris wheel, and we can't wait to see how much of a crowd puller it will be in Seoul. But one thing is guaranteed, this first ever of its kind Ferris wheel is going to attract a lot of eyeballs globally for its stunning architecture and cutting-edge technology. Ready to be amazed by the next groundbreaking construction project? Click on the video now and dive into a world where engineering and imagination collide. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join our community and stay updated with all our latest wonders. See you there.